and I am creative and I believe that I am supported by the universe to do what's true and what's right and what is going to better humanity at all times. I mean, that's what it's going to have to come down to. And I think there are enough people in the West after 9-11 and after Iraq and all that's been uncovered under the Bush administration. I mean, it's really magical the way it's happening. It's messy and it's horrible, but it is revealing what is real. And that has not been revealed up until this time. So it's an amazing time period to be alive and to be a part of this change because we are manifesting it. The more we talk about what's going on, the more what's really going on enters the minds of the many. So the trick, though, is to not be an angry mob, okay? So in order to not go into angry mob mode, we have to deal with our own parental issues and things like that. We have to look at why we're so angry that we feel like we need to riot in the streets. And I know there's something kind of glorious about that, like, we should be rioting in the streets. We're past that. It's like riots brought to the surface that there's a problem. It's like, here's the thing with riots and rioting in the street. When a child is beaten by their father, they will sometimes act out by getting in fights or being rebellious or whatever, okay? And that acting out behavior makes people go, there's something wrong. There's something wrong in that family. There's something wrong in that system. But it doesn't lead to change in that system. It usually leads to that kid getting punished more. And it's allowed. And so that's kind of like what happened with a lot of like civil rights riots and things like that. It brought attention that there was a problem, that there was abuse in the system, and that was a good thing. But it didn't lead to change. Things have changed a little bit, but not totally. And so it served its purpose, rioting in the streets. We need to be more strategic and more clever and more honest and more calm. And we will be if we deal with our own stuff. Because once you dealt with your own emotional stuff, you don't have it in you to be that angry to where you want to riot in the streets and hurt another person. Even your abuser. You just don't have it in you. And we have to begin allowing the world to be that sensitive. We need to be sensitive. Let's cut out the melodrama so we can wake up the whole wide world. Let's make up and start all over and awaken the boys and the girls.